Because if you turn this card upside down, it's a sad elemental. I... Okay. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Sha 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 shaman. There we go. Shaman. What did Shaman get? My heart goes sha 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 in the morning. Sha 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 sha. Two mana, two two battle cry. Add a random elemental to your hand, which is an elemental. Fifty dollar donation. Wow, from Wang Camper. Did you eat well today? Uh, I had some sausage and eggs. How good. It's an elemental, which is good. It refreshes itself, which is good. Which adds another elemental. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if this is good or bad. Or is this is just mid off the line. Two mana two two isn't good. And you're not exactly a control deck, right? If you're an elemental shaman. This is a low tempo play. But it replaces itself and enables elemental synergy. It's very average. And as we know, average cards don't cut it. And construct it. Like it's an average card, which in constructed means it's not playable. Tells if you turn this card upside down, it's a sad elemental. I... Okay. Uh, Beaker Lightning, zero mana. Deal one damage to all minions. Overload two. Huh. Seems expensive. Good synergy with Thanos. A whirlwind that overloads here. Seems really good with Thanos. Or if you roll spell power totem. Not too bad against aggro. An arcane explosion that hits your own minions that comes with overload. Hmm. It's a bit pricey, but you can never underestimate zero mana cards. Synergy with Bog Shaper, right? Combo with Malagos. Hmm. And compare this to Maelstrom Portal. Hmm. If Odd Paladin is still really good, I can see people running Beaker Lightning. Put it here. Tells so it's worse than Maelstrom Portal. True, but you have to understand that Maelstrom Portal is brokenly good. It's one of the best shaman cards ever. Uh, two mana elementary reaction. Draw a card, copy it. You know what? We'll put this here. <laughs> Not putting this here at that card. I mean, is it really that bad? Okay, I'll put it here. 
Um, draw a card, copy it if you played an elemental last turn. Now this makes menacing Nimbus pretty decent. The Shadow Walk Shaman run elemental. They run Grumble. Anything else? Glacial Shard. And they run, um, sometimes they run Sandbinder, which guarantees you an elemental. Murmuring, uh, people don't really run Murmuring these days, but yeah, occasionally they do. Hmm. That's quite a few elementals. The problem with Elemental Shaman has always been slightly low tempo. Like you get value with like Servant of Calamos, but it's hard to swing the board, really hard. Besides big Calamos. And Blaze Caller needs to hit the right target. And this plays onto that where it's like, it's good value, but it's low tempo, low tempo. You need high tempo cards, high tempo cards. Calmos is great tempo. Everything else is not so great tempo, but it's good value. Even Shaman. Even Shaman has Firefly. Wait, wait, what? You can't play this. Wait. Even Shaman. No, wait, they don't have Firefly. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> when I think even shaman, I'm like, alright, a shaman with even hero power, so they can play one drop. <laughs> Sorry, no, they don't run that. They run a fire plume phoenix, they run... Alakir. And flame elemental sometimes. No, it's not good enough. Even shaman's not great and I don't think that this makes it that much better potentially shadow walk shaman though if you can fit in more elementals for shadow walk shaman like tar creepers Eureka so I'm gonna copy a random minion from your hand big shaman yeah that's not gonna be a thing Maligo Shaman. There wasn't enough introduced for Maligo Shaman. Two Lightning Bolts, two Frost Shocks, not even enough to kill them. And I don't think there's enough support for Big Shaman. So Eureka and then Storm Surge Lightning Boat. That's still only 16 damage. If um Big Shaman was a thing, this be insane, but there's just no Big Shaman. <laughs> Voltalic Burst and Thunderhead, both of them summon 1-1 one, one Sparks with Rush, and those Sparks are elemental too. Good synergy with Flame Tongue, especially being able to trade right away. 4 mana, 3, 5, elemental. Not the best stats. You need to be able to combo with it right away. But you have Zap, and then you have Beaker Lightning, zero cost spells, which are nice. You can flood the board relatively fast, which makes Bloodlust a threat.
Mm, but is it enough? Is token shaman gonna be a thing? Token, token shaman, aggro shaman. Toe speaker lining doesn't work. It'll kill the spark. Nope. Thunderhead says after you play a card with overload, it won't kill it. There's a difference between whenever you play a card and after you play a card. Toes, why are there three sparks in the artwork when it only summons two sparks? That's a good question. All right. Let me uh, fix this for you. I don't feel so good, Mr. Toast. There you go, Blizzard. No need to pay me. It's on the house. Just update the card art with this masterpiece. And we good. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. Nah. I would say uh, still not good. I would love to be proven wrong. Don't think it's gonna be a thing. Do, 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 do. Four mana, three, five. Battle cry, draw a spell from a deck that costs five or more. So, not too bad. You can guarantee a volcano, or you can have a chance at volcano, a chance at spellstone if you're running overload shaman, mm, bloodlust if you're running a more aggressive. But I think volcano is the best thing for this. I can see this in more of a control shadow walk deck because Volcano is so huge in shadow walk. You need it to beat aggro. I can see playing like a 4 mana 3 4 draw you a card that you curve into is good. Usually a 4 mana that draws you a card is a 2 4. This is a 3 4 but it's specific. I like this in shadow walk shaman. I can see running this just to make sure I hit Volcano. What other card would you hit? Yeah, Volcano's pretty much it. It's an elemental too. Yeah, minor upside. Spellstone if you're again if you're running overload shaman. Yeah, you probably run one of these and two volcanoes. It would be unfortunate though if you draw this as your third class. Third card. I just wish there was one more thing you can run. That's expensive, a spell and shadow walk shaman. Those what about bloodlust? To be fair, you're not looking to play four mana three fours in a bloodlust oriented deck. It has synergy with Sandbinder itself as well. Like you sandbinder into a storm chaser into a volcano, right? I'll rank this pretty high. It fits into an existing top tier deck in Shadow Walk Shaman. Another Omega card. Omega, Omega, Omega. Two mana, two, three, battle cry. If you have 10 mana crystals, your spells have life steal this turn. Hmm. Hmm. You either play this or you play Healing Rain. You don't play both. I think that's just way too much cards. So would you play this over Healing Rain? Because that's what you would compare it against. That's what you would replace in Shadow Walk Shaman. <clears throat> it's only active on turn 10. Nah, I would play Healing Rain over this. If I need Healing Rain, I would need it earlier than turn 10. And if it's turn 10, I'm already healing to infinite with Shadow Walk and Life Drinker. Nope. Toast, it's a battle cry for Shadow Walk. What? If you're playing a Shadow Walk, how do you have spells left to play other spells? How do you have mana left to play other spells? 
Dog, you crazy. This has zero synergy with Shadow Walk. Tell us what's your one, one mana Shadow Walk. If you're playing one mana Shadow Walk, guess what? You already won the game. Because if you're playing one mana Shadow Walk, you can play another one mana Shadow Walk. And then another one, one mana Shadow Walk. And then guess what? You play 10 of them, your life drinker goes up 10 times, your opponent's dead. And if you're not playing Shadow Walk with Life Drinker, you probably messed up somewhere. Those, why do you talk about meta decks? That's how new expansions work when there's no rotation involved. It's not going to be a whole new world with whole new decks. It's the old decks that are getting better and one or two new decks. When Witchwood came out, do you think there was new decks? Hell no. It was Agro Paladin with Call to Arms. It was Spiteful Druid and Spiteful Priest. It was Q-Block. It was exactly the same as Kobolds and Catacombs. And that one had a rotation. And nothing changed. So when there's a new expansion, you should always compare it to existing top tier decks. Because they become even more optimized. With a possibility of a brand new deck springing up somewhere. So that's why we talk about existing meta decks when we examine these new cards. Electra, Storm Surge, Battle Cry, your next spell this turn, cast twice. Tells you're wrong, this expansion brings magnetic mechanic, you should consider magnetic. Not a mech, 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 not a mech. Zero magnetic card. We can talk about mech synergy when we talk about a mech related card. But it's hard to talk about mech synergy when there's zero mech related card. Alright, uh, Electra. I like this card. Just straight up synergy. With any spell you play, uh, Healing Rain. I don't think Bloodless is that good. Tells Ben, I'm not gonna. What? <laughs> um, healing Rain's great with this. Anything re revolving around Overload is a bit inefficient because you still pay the Overload cost again compared to a card like Healing Rain or Bloodlust or Spellstone where you essentially don't pay for the extra mana. With Lightning Storm and Volcano, you get the bonus. Like, you get some mana for free, the 5 mana or the 3 mana, but the Overload kind of makes it not as appealing. That is to say you shouldn't do it, you know. 8 mana, this plus overload, 30 damage AoE, it's still pretty nuts. Will allow you to clear things you're not supposed to clear. How does this work with Murmuring Elemental? Hmm, good question. Now some of you might say, well, Toes, it says cast twice. When you cast something twice, twice, you still cast it only once, twice. So it wouldn't stack. But some of you might say, maybe it's two separate abilities. Maybe the first Electra cast again, and the second Electra cast again. So you cast a total of three times. So, that's a good question. If I play Murmuring Elemental and I play Electra, and I play a spell, does it happen twice? Or does it happen three times? Locking your answer in chat now. Do 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 The answer is I don't know. Mike don't I mean I would say it's twice because um Bran had a similar wording where your next battle cry triggers twice. And you, if you had two brands, it wasn't like, um, well, the first brand makes a trigger. And then the second brand makes a trigger. My guess it's twice if we use historical evidence. But if we use the other historical evidence, which is Hearthstone interaction coded by Blizzard employees, the answer is who really knows until we test it. 
who knows who knows you know i had to do a video on s scale nightmare because blizzard didn't code how to double a number properly and then they fixed it like the week after i made that video like it was a card that is based around hey take this number and double it and then double it and then double it and then they messed that up Blizzard, I love you guys. Thank you for the card review. I'm a huge supporter. Love the new expansion. A lot of exciting stuff. But you have to admit you messed up a card where you just doubled a number. So, you know. If Electra casts a spell three times, I'm not going to be surprised. But if I had to guess, I'm going to guess twice. Uh, I really like Electra. It's just a solid shaman card. Reminds me a lot of Fandril. Reminds me a lot of um, Hellmaster Shaw, where um, it just feels like a good legendary that's not overpowered, that's not underpowered, that you build around. It's just a good card, and I like legendaries like that. So very solid. Is the target the same or random? I would assume the same. Because if it's random, it just makes Lava Burst way too bad. And Lightning Bolt. I assume the same target. <laughs> what if it dies? I imagine it'd be the same as Bran. When you Bran, Flame Elemental, a minion that's dead, it's not going to randomly target another minion, right? It just doesn't work. Toes, what if the first spell kills Electra? I mean, Electra's ability is a battle cry, not an ongoing effect. So, even if Electra gets removed somehow, like a volcano, the battle cry portion will still be there. So, anywho, uh, Stormbringer, transform your minions into random legendary minions. In terms of YouTube money making ability, this is like about this high. In terms of competitive viability, mm. <laughs> I'll put it here just because of the fun, fun aspect. It's great with Voltalic Burst, um, like Voltalic, Voltalic, and then boom, four legendaries, four Tyrians, baby, you are cooking. Four death wings. It's gonna happen. You just know it's gonna happen. Uh you play this with Wisp? Maybe. I don't know. You run Wisp, you run Snow Flipper Penguins. And baby on turn seven you get four legendaries. Live the dream, right? Get six Leroy's. Instant one. <laughs> Live the dream. Um, Shaman. They try and push Elemental, but I still don't think Elemental's good. Right now, Elemental's a bit behind. It reminds me a lot of old Dragon Priest, where it's constantly just slightly below average until Dragon Operative. Because when Drachno Operative, along with Dragonfire Potion, showed up, it's like, oh. It's essentially the Dragon Priest equivalent of Jesus, their savior. Right now, Elemental Shaman doesn't have Jesus. They have the 11 disciples, but they're lacking their leader. And um, I don't think. Anything from this set would push Elemental Shaman through to playability. They need that broken OP card. I haven't seen it yet. So, I don't think Elemental Shaman would be that much better than it is. I think Electra is a great standalone Shaman card that can fit in a lot of Shaman decks. I think Storm Chaser is really good for Control Shamans and Slow Shaman and Shadow Walk Shaman because it curves into Volcano perfectly, assuming one I play Volcano. But 
yeah that's it hey lights out